so basically, um, it makes me nervous, but, uh, but I do want to be able to drive, especially when my parents are gone, and get to places where I want to go. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to click on, tap on critical items. So okay. for example, a stop sign. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so the stop sign is one of the critical I was getting this cup of coffee, and I looked at my director and just blurted out, would you support a program to help autistic spectrum kids to learn how to drive? And he immediately said yes. So that one didn't apply because it was for the other side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, I think you're good because you clicked on the main one. Those folks that underwent training improved in two thirds of the hazards in the simulated drive. Yeah, I think the leftmost one actually doesn't do anything. Oh, but only the middle one is oh, the break. I tried, I tried all of them. We noticed that they had certain difficulties in common. Uh, one of them was staying in their lane and another was stopping distance. So they tended to wait until they were right up at the stop sign and then jammed on it. Phase two, we are going to try to train the kids to, to uh, you know, sort of overcome those weaknesses. I had memories of me crashing into buildings and like uh, doing a worse job and I think I did a better job this time. I think I became a better driver. Okay, I'll try, I'll try to remember all that. <laughs> it is a lot to remember. So here you would tap on the speed limit side.